Today's the day. I finally got the keys to this place. It's a little run down, but it's been my dream for years to open a peaceful little cafe. And now I can finally get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little speed build here. Decorating is one of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing, so I thought I'd put out a couple videos where I'm putting together some layouts. So today I'm making a cafe. I absolutely love cafes. I love hanging out in them and just kind of chilling and reading a book with my favorite drinks. And I decided to do that here in Animal Crossing, especially since we don't have a cafe um, yet with like Brewster and stuff. I'm sure we'll get one at some point, but for now I'm just putting together my own little cafe. It was a little bit challenging to put this together because I don't feel like we have a lot of distinct sets in this game. At least sets that I feel like would work. We have the Ironwood set which I ended up using a lot of in this build. I don't have all the pieces though, so I just had to get creative. I'm doing this in Harvey's Island so that I uh, can use all of the pieces I've ever cataloged and all of the customizations open to each of them. So if you watched my Easter video that I posted a while back, I talked a little bit about Harvey's Island. So if you're not familiar with it, basically, if you go to Dodo Airlines, you can talk to the Dodo and ask him to go to Harvey's Island. And what that unlocks is basically an area for you to do layouts and also take pictures with your favorite villagers. As long as the villager either lives in your town or you have the amiibo cart. So the main reason I like this feature, I think it's called Photopia, um, if I recall correctly. So the reason I like Photopia a lot is because we get access to basically every item you've ever picked up. So a lot of these items I don't actually even currently own. I actually either bought them and then sold them to make room in my inventory or I just picked up and put them down over at a friend's island or whatever. I actually had to do a lot of work to try to get furniture to use for this build. And if you wanna see how I kind of maximized my furniture collection, um, let me know and I'll do a video on it. But a lot of it just involved collecting uh, as many DIY recipes as I could and also going to like friends islands and seeing what furniture they had and uh, cataloging it. But I can talk more about that in another video. So here I'm just trying to set out the general layout for the cafe. The theme that I was going for was kind of really classy looking. I had this cafe wallpaper that I got from Sahara, I think, a while back, and I love that it's just covered in windows, so the area looks really bright. A lot of the rooms in Animal Crossing usually only have one or two windows max, and I really wanted something a lot brighter and a lot airier. I'm really big on like natural light in my layout, so wallpapers that have this kind of design are really nice. There's a couple of other wallpapers that have windows too. I have one that's more like old fashioned looking and I have it in my basement currently. I forgot what it's called, but it's definitely a fave because it brings in a lot of sunlight. So I'm just rearranging things here. I wanted to create a little check-in area, kind of like where you can pay your bill or place your order and stuff like that. And I'm actually using this little podium that I think is for someone to like give a speech. But I also added a magazine, a food magazine on top of it to sort of look like a menu. And then I also put the menu board right next to it. Then I'm going in and adding these black mats in the back. Um, I got these from Sahara and I wanted it to sort of look like, you know, the non-slip safety mats they have in um, food service kitchens and stuff. And then I'm going to arrange this area on the corner and um, I, I wanted there to be sort of a cozier space, a cozier lounge space. I have the singular tables on the other side, but I wanted to create a space here that was uh, just a little bit more enclosed, a little bit cozier. And I had this really great stove pipe fireplace thing that I wanted to incorporate. Um, so I tried to sort of design this little seating area around it. Just going in and adding more surfaces to the kitchen as well, um, because I wanted to add more kitchen tools and things to make it look more like an actual kitchen. So I added a blender, added some coffee um, machines and stuff and then I'm sort of just looking around and making sure everything is where I want it to be. I briefly thought about maybe changing the color scheme of the ironwood uh, furniture but I decided to go ahead and just stick with it because I feel like it's the most complementary colors we have. Like I said, a lot of the items I used aren't necessarily from the same set. Like the tables I'm using here, singular tables in the corner, are actually natural wood tables, but I thought that the design sort of went with the ironwood set, so I felt like they could be compatible. I'm just decorating. I decided to go with sort of a green theme 
uh, throughout so I was adding in a lot of little accessories like the kettle, the couch, um, I added in the green record player, even the spice rack in the corner back there you'll see has a dark green olive oil bottle so I tried to continue that you know dark forest green motif throughout the cafe so it looks more cohesive. I also added in just lots of greenery in terms of plants. And then here I'm adding this really, really cute little service cart. I love it. It has a little basket of bread underneath, which I think is so cute. I wish the color was a little bit darker, but you know, just making the best with what I have. I really like the wall decor. I think it helps make the room feel more fleshed out. I'm adding some ivy pots here. Um, and I only did it on two sides because I didn't want it to get too repetitive. Um, I'm also using the actual design of the wallpaper to help decide where I want to place things. So you can see I put the ivy pots on the actual wall between the windows. And I think that helps the setup look more realistic too. Because you wouldn't really have like, you know, pots just hanging on the glass part of the window. Also adding in some lighting. Here I have these iron lamps which I think are really nice. You can color them in either black or white. And I'm testing out to see kind of which areas will be lit up when the lights are off. This is just something I like to do personally because I want the lighting to kind of work out, but it doesn't matter. You don't necessarily need to do that. Um, I'm adding in more service mats here just to make it more continuous and more realistic. And then I'm starting to add clutter to the tables here. I'm getting a coffee cup for this table. And then I'm also moving over. I wanted to have like an area where people get, could get sugar and stuff like that. So I'm moving that more over to the side where there's actually going to be more people sitting and then I'm also adding in characters. So one cool thing about Harvey's Island is you can actually go to the tab um, the me in the menu and add in any of the villagers that are currently living in your island. So I added in, added in Marshall here. You can also dress them up if you press X. You can go into the closet and they can wear any of the clothes you have in your closet. So I am also adding in Goldie because I feel like she is definitely someone who seems to enjoy cafes. I also added in Bo um, and sat him across from Goldie. And then I also added in Hans. I wanted to make him one of the cafe staff. Um, funnily enough, like I tried to put Marshall as the check-in like waiter, the check-in staff, but he was too short. You could barely see his face over the top of the podium. So I ended up putting him over to the side. And then here's Tank and I'm trying to pick an outfit for him. I'm gonna make him a chef. And then I decided that Marshall was just way too short to be in the kitchen, even like you could barely see his face over the stove. So we're gonna just turn him into a cafe patron. I gave him a little like hipster flannel shirt and then sat him on the couch. And then here's um, Pinky. I tried to pick something that was cute for her because she she loves pink. And then I sat her over there. Now I'm just gonna change out Goldie's cup for a book because I feel like that's what she would want to bring with her to a cafe. And then I'm also adding in this delicious looking cake. This is a cake you can get on your birthday. And what's great is you can customize it. So I'm picking a nice looking classic carrot cake. And then I'm also giving Bo and Pinky a tea set to share. And then I'm also adding in Filbert to run the coffee machine, even though I don't know if he can reach, that's fine. Um, and I decided to make Gladys the greeter, so I put her in the front. And then I also decided to go ahead and add Rafina, and maybe she and Goldie are having a little book club meetup. Let me turn on the music. Cafe KK seems like a perfect choice. And here's the cafe, all done. I feel like it looks super cozy and peaceful and I'm just really really happy with it. Um, I'm glad that it turned out pretty nice I think even though not all of the furniture necessarily goes together or is part of the same set. I like the cooking stations here on the sides. I think this kitchen island is one of the nicest pieces I've found in the game so far and then I'm really really happy with this cozy little corner here. I'm gonna go sit next to Marshall. I think the fireplace really adds a lot to this little area. And then all of this cake and this fruity water looks so delicious. So pretty, pretty pleased with this. I'm happy that we can go ahead and add in characters because I feel like it makes the scene look a lot more alive. Like it's fun to decorate, but it's even better when you can see how the characters would interact or what they would look like actually in the layout. And it kind of makes the place just feel more like a living, breathing cafe. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what kind of layouts you'd like me to do in the future. And if you'd like me to like give you guys some tips on how to expand your furniture catalog, um, let me know. I don't have all the answers, but I definitely come across some useful tips and tricks and I'd love to share them with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you can get alerted to my next videos. And I'll be back soon with more speed builds. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.